So the most common types of hand and wrist injuries are simple sprains. Uh, the vast majority of these don't really require much treatment, but of the injuries that do need treatment, I would say common fractures of the fingers, the metacarpals, uh, of the wrist, the distal radius, those are the sort of the common injuries that we see. The frequent causes of hand and wrist injuries are usually simple trips and falls, um, but obviously in a sporting environment, uh, contact sports, collision sports, colliding with opponents, uh, they can also cause uh, hand and wrist injuries. Well, the symptoms of hand and wrist injuries are pain, restricted range of movement, swelling uh, and uh, lack of function. So you need to see a hand and wrist specialist when you have lack of function. So if you can move your hand uh, relatively pain free and there's not much swelling, then probably things will just settle on their own. But if you get lack of function, swelling, deformity, pain, a lot of bruising, that's perhaps when you should see somebody. Well, we diagnose hand and wrist injuries by taking a careful history that's asking the patient what has happened to them, what their symptoms are, do they have pain, lack of movement, swelling. We then examine them and we examine each of the, uh, the bones and the joints individually, examine the tendons, uh, and then after we've done an examination, we then potentially order some investigations. And that might start off with a simple x-ray, which looks at the bones in good detail. We may consider an ultrasound examination, which looks at the soft tissues, the tendons and the ligaments. And occasionally we do more advanced tests, such as an MRI scan. And an MRI scan can look at the bones, the ligaments, the tendons in great detail. We can also arrange a CT scan. CT scan looks at the bone in extremely good detail, but it's not very good at looking at the soft tissues. So we tend to use a variety of these uh, uh, imaging modalities depending on what, on what the fracture is. So the treatment options for hand and wrist injuries vary in severity. So a simple sprain may just need a little bit of rest, simple analgesia, some ice, mobilization, right through to operative surgery. But the majority of hand and wrist injuries don't actually need an operation and can be managed with some physiotherapy, allowing things to settle or a splint or a cast. But on occasions, people do need an operation. Operations are always a last resort for us. We try non-operative techniques first, but if we do need to do an operation, then we'll, uh, we'll uh, perform one as necessary. So return to play after a hand and wrist injury varies in the severity of the injury. Uh, simple sprains, patients can have no time away from playing up to more advanced fractures. Generally speaking, once the fracture has healed, and that may be between four and six weeks. Uh, with sports injuries now, we're trying to push uh, uh, the players to get back sooner and sooner, but it's really important that the patient's safe to be able to play, both safe to themselves, but also safe to players around them. So in contact sports, they're unlikely to harm any of the athletes around them, but in say motorcycle, if a motorcyclist damages their hand, we want them to be safe to operate the very powerful machine that they're riding uh, and be careful and mindful of the other riders around them. So they have to be safe when they're riding just to prevent any injuries both to themselves and to any of the other riders. So return to play will be guided by the team's uh, physical therapist, the team's physician, in conjunction with myself. So we'll be a multidisciplinary team and we involve the athlete as well. It's the athlete's decision when they want to return ultimately, but we try and guide them uh, what is best practice and the safest for them and people around them. So hand and wrist injuries can be prevented. Um, we have performed some work with British Boxing and we've seen a massive reduction in the injuries uh, that boxers sustain uh, over the last 10 or 15 years with a variety of, uh, of taping techniques, uh, a variety of uh, really innovative uh, uh, methods that the physical therapists have, uh, have implemented. But for other injuries, I think uh, patients need to perform good technique um, uh, warm themselves up obviously uh, and then avoid putting their hands and wrists into awkward positions particularly under load.